everyone, and welcome to Seltzer Reviews with Kaylee and Chris. Mine is Chris. Him is upstairs doing school. Um, but in honor of us watching a Harry Potter marathon last week, I got my Harry Potter glasses on. Also, we saw a comedian named Shane Smith, and he talked about how he told people that he did time in Azkaban because he has tattoos all over his face and he's never been to prison but he told people that he did time in Azkaban and that's funny anyway welcome to seltzer reviews and uh today we are going to do a seltzer review also I had an interview today um I'll probably post the video or at least the fucking audio of me stressing out because I had a dream last night that I was late for the interview and they canceled it. So I woke up very early, um, got dressed, got ready, um, ready, AKA sweatpants and a nice ish top. Okay. And I waited downstairs in the basement for hours, logged into the team's meeting, waiting waiting in the waiting room for a long time and I looked at the email again and I was like texted the lady and I was like hey um the email says uh that we have an interview today Friday the 13th which happy Friday the 13th um we have an interview today Friday the 13th at noon okay so it's like it's 12.45, just making sure, because the calendar invite, what is floating around? The calendar invite says 2 o'clock, so like, which one is it? And she's like, no, it's at noon, don't worry, we'll talk to you soon. Noon rolls around, still sitting in the waiting room. Noon 15 rolls around, still sitting in the waiting room. So I call, try to call her. She doesn't answer. And then 12.30 rolls around. I tried to call her again because I'm a goddamn crazy person. And nothing. And in my dream, um, I was sitting down here in the basement office. Uh, sitting here waiting, waiting for the video to start and or the meeting to start and like I had it up on my phone and then like it glitched out. I could see everyone's faces. They couldn't see me and they couldn't hear me. So it's like I wasn't on the video yet. I could see all of them on the video, which I just made up all these faces and names to these people that I've never met. And there were like 12 people on this call where in reality it was only two people that I was supposed to be talking to. It was wild. Um, but I stressed myself out. So I didn't want to miss it again like I did in my dream. <laughs> so yeah. So then she finally called me back and she was like, hey, I got a missed call from this number. And I was like, hey, um, yeah, I was supposed to have an interview at 12. Um, you texted me and said, yeah, it's still at 12, and now it's 12.30, and yeah. She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I guess I did schedule it for two. I was like, okay. I was like, well, I had a dream that I missed it, so I was just making sure that I didn't miss it. She was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. No, you're totally fine. Uh, is that two? Is that so fine? I was like, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so, yep, so we did that. Um, the interview went well. I, Yeah. It's for, um, let's see, it's for specialist in trauma cleaning and biohazard removal, which is basically crime scene cleanup. So that's cool. Um, or any trauma cleanup because it is, well, trauma removal and cleaning of biohazard. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully they call me back. They said they should get back to me, hopefully by Monday, um, if not sooner. Um, but the only really downfall is I would be on call technically 24-7, so that's kind of kind of rough um, with Kennedy and whatnot. Um, but I think it would be okay, and they said that they have three positions available over here in Dayton. That's where I live. And 
they said that they are going to show the recording of my interview to their bigger manager. I don't know what he was. Um, but he would, did not make it to the meeting, the meeting, the interview. Um, so they are going to show that to him and discuss what position they think that I should get. Um, I think there was a technician position, which is basically cleaning up your one of the crew, whatever. Um, supervisor, which is your the supervisor. You're talking to the families that need this assistance. Um, and then I think the other job was something along the lines of dispatch. I don't, cr I don't really remember. It was kind of hard to follow, but so yeah. But she said, um, she'll talk to him and maybe not right away a technician because Kennedy in the daycare situation and making, yeah, that would really be my only concern. Um, but hopefully they like me for something else. Um, supervisor would be neat. Um, I think I would still have to travel and stuff, so I'm not sure. I don't know, but whatever. I, I'm, I'm excited. I think it's cool. I think it's right in my fucking wheelhouse. Um, and yeah, hopefully they call me back and it all goes well. And yeah, but anyway, back to Harry Potter. Um, I have weird dreams. Like I had this weird ass dream and then like we watched all what seven or eight of the Harry Potter movies. Is it seven or is it eight? Because there's two parts to the last movie. Does that make it seven or does that make it eight? I don't know. But we watched all of them like last weekend or two weekends ago from like Thursday to Monday we watched a movie okay or one to two movies a day okay and for like an entire week I had weird ass dreams isn't that weird like Harry Potter gives me weird ass dreams but literally nightmare fuel like murder cases and like crime scene photos don't give me I just hit the microphone sorry don't give me what's it called Nightmares. But Harry Potter does. What the fuck does that mean? Um, also, I just went to... Sorry, this is everywhere because I haven't talked to you guys in forever. But also, I just went to a live showing of Sinisterhood. They are so fucking funny. Um, drove out to Columbus, stayed in a hotel to see them because Dayton is like an hour and a half away from Columbus. Um, so, that was cool. And, yeah. Heather and Christy are awesome. Um, they're my new best friends. They just don't know it yet. <laughs> um, and yeah. So I think I'm ready to get into this tasting because I have not had a good seltzer in a while. Or a new seltzer in a while, I guess. Um, and then hopefully today I will be able to drop another podcast episode um, cause I will put this as a podcast, uh, episode as well as a YouTube video. Um, yeah, so, yeah, seltzer reviews, blah, 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 blah. Also, I pre-recorded a fucking, uh, uh, crime time news update on, uh, the Sutton Mosser case. And I just did not post it, I guess. I, or I didn't finish editing it. I don't know. It's been a hectic couple of weeks. Um, but I will hopefully post that by today. Um, and you guys will get a couple episodes from me on Friday the 13th. So, happy Friday the 13th. Let's fucking get this shit going. So, we have... Bud Light Seltzer. Your girl likes a Bud Light Seltzer, but their variety packs, not always great. Their limited edition, not always great. You know how it was with the fucking, what was it, sweater, S Susan, S he season, sweater season, whatever. Those are disgusting. Um, also, the Christmas one. No, the flannel and then the sweater one. Disgusting. Hated them, okay? So we'll see what happens. This one is Watermelon Mojito Lime Margarita Tropical Punch Strawberry Daiquiri. Literally, they all sound amazing. 
So let's see what happens. Also, the cans are kind of cute, right? Like, kind of, kind of cute. Okay. Um, let's read. Zero sugar. Questionable. Uh, five percent alcohol and a hundred calories. Contains alcohol. Yes, the fuck it does. Okay. Oh my god, I just thought that I did not press record. That would have been bad. Okay. Oh my god. Well, these are cute. Uh, watermelon mojito. You know how your girl loves fucking watermelon, so. Mm, lime margarita. Absolutely fucking lonely. Mm. Strawberry daiquiri. I feel like I should make these into TikToks, too. Tropical Punch. Hell fucking yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Damn, Gina. Okay, my fucking desk is a goddamn mess. You know how I don't like having the box. In. Okay, we're good. Okay, so what are we going to try first? Didn't we talk about this? It has to be this way to this way? Or is it this way to this way? No. This way to this way, right? I don't fucking know. I figured it out last time. I'm gonna fuck it up today. Today, it is literally three o'clock. I don't know what time zone we're in, Ohio. Um, so, good vibes only, so, yeah. What's this one? Strawberry daiquiri. Cheers. Oh, it smells so good. It's okay. It actually smells stronger than it tastes. Strange. Okay. Okay. This is Tropical Punch. <sighs> Just tastes like orange pineapple. Is it orange tropical? I feel like yes. Tropicana? I don't know. Okay, I'm really good at opening these. Watermelon Mojito. It tastes perfumey. Why? Uh, what was that other pack I tried and everything tasted like vanilla? I don't think it was Bud Light. What was it? I don't know. You guys look back. You tell me. Sounds like a herd of buffalo are running inside my fucking house. My house is a hundred years old. Actually, it's over a hundred years old. It's built in like 1920 and everything creaks. Also, I killed two fucking giant spiders today. One in the kitchen crawled out of the fucking blinds while I was making coffee. What the fuck? Um, and then the other one was just hanging out by my shampoo when I was taking a shower today. So that was a fucking delight. But it, what happened here? Okay. Weird. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is what we're going to taste now. Lime margarita, I feel like it, it's going to be the best. I always fuck myself with this, though. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. fucking lovely. Yes. That one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, this is, okay, unfortunate. Watermelon mojito. Last. Why? Um, Bud Light Seltzer. You did all right, I guess. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Whoa, buddy. This is really good. This one is good. This one is decent. This one is not great. It tastes like vanilla. Why is it? Sorry. Why does it taste? Oh, God. Oh, my. I ate croutons today, which is funny because I bought like three bags of croutons because I bought a whole bunch of lettuce and I'm going to have salads. Um, and I told Kennedy, you can't just eat croutons as a meal. 
and in my defense, I didn't eat it as a meal. It was a snack for my interview. So I had some cheddar garlic croutons. Don't tell Kennedy. She's going to want them and she's going to eat all of them. Um, but yeah, so this is what I, this is how I feel about that. This is how I feel about this. Um, lime margarita, tropical punch, strawberry daiquiri, watermelon mojito. I feel like I should do, uh, English, British accent for an entire episode because I'm wearing my bloody so Harry Potter glasses. Harry Potter, of course. Hermione. This one's good. I might actually drink all of these. Um, but I think I should do an episode. I think I should do an episode and then I should add just progressively get drunker uh, during the episode. Um, because it's Friday the 13th, so why the fuck not, dude? Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, don't you guys worry, because I will be drinking my liquid IV to keep me hydrated. Um, liquid IV. This is lemon flavor. So, drink your liquid IV, because it will keep you from getting drunk, like me. <laughs> Stupid. Um, but non-GMO, electrolyte drink mix. They're delicious. This one's lemon. It's very good. Um, my favorite is the watermelon. I like watermelon. Um, but I also like to drink the Energize mixers. Electrolyte, yeah. Those ones are really good, too. Um, I actually mix the watermelon, um hydration multipliers with the Energizer ones, and they're fucking delicious. So, use code SELTZER for 25% off liquid IV. Do it. Okay, that's all. Um, I think that might be it. That might be the end of this. Um, I might chug this. Maybe I'll put my paws on and go back to my roots. My roots. My bloody roots! I never know which finger to put it on. Oh. <laughs> Look at this nice necklace curse company. Get the fuck out of my way, bitches. Okay. We're just gonna... Have you seen the Sprite chug? That seems dumb. Um, but what is the difference between fucking shotgunning a seltzer and shotgunning a fucking Sprite? Also, they don't even chug it. They, like, drink it. And then, which I guess I don't technically chug it either because I'm a Um, and I just kind of like, mm, sippy sippy. This is kind of Sprite, but like an adult Sprite. <laughs> mm. No color ID is calling me. What do you want, bitch? It's probably the people that are going to hire me. Or not hire. They probably saw this. Okay, maybe we're doing it. <sighs> My belly's gonna hurt all day, but I don't think I'll throw up like they did in the video. <laughs> Apparently people are also doing, see a jug, send a jug. So see this chug fucking chug. And send another chug. Okay, goodbye. Oh, we have to rate these. Um, I would say overall, like a 7 out of 10. 
They're pretty, they're pretty decent. I'm gonna go throw up. Goodbye.